Dan here from Norm Tesla. Should you precondition when not plugged in? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is about efficiency. We all know, or I hope we all know, that if you're plugged in at home and it's cold out, you should definitely be using scheduled departure to precondition the car and battery. Of course you want the cabin because you want to be comfortable, right? But you also want the battery to be warm and its optimal temperature is around 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. The question I've always wondered is, if you're unplugged, like say you're leaving from work after the car's been sitting there all day in the cold, is the range you're going to lose in heating the car worth the added efficiency you may get on your drive with a warmed up battery? If you're curious like me, stick around. Before I get into it though, do me a favor and subscribe. All right, so I set out to do a typical Northern Tesla efficiency test. I have a 50 mile or 83 kilometer commute to work, so I tracked my arrival charge, how much range I lost to fan drain while sitting there. And then for the test, what I would do is I would either heat the cabin for five minutes, just enough to get the cabin warm, or 20 to 25 minutes, try to get the battery warm as well. And then I also did scheduled departure through the app. I would then track the arrival range, the watts per kilometer and kilowatts used to get home. I can tell you from all those numbers, and as you know, it's hard to get a real world test because so many factors come into play mostly the weather. If it's wet or snowing out, and if it's a different temperature, it'll mess up your numbers. But from what I gathered, in terms of actual energy used for that return trip, there wasn't a significant difference between the three options, or at least not a pattern I can actually make out. You may have saved about one kilowatt for the actual drive by preconditioning. But in terms of arrival range, if there's any savings from preconditioning to be had, it's definitely lost by having the climate on for that long. One day I got home with 0% because having the climate on took about 10 to 13% of heating. So in that situation, it's definitely not worth it. It does say in the manual, precondition increases performance. It does do a few things in regards to that. Like you will have more regen braking available from the start. And when that blue snowflake is present, some range is locked until your battery warms up. But efficiency wise, it doesn't make a huge difference from what I can tell. In fact, after talking to a Tesla technician, they get a better idea of why they recommend this. And Tesla doesn't actually recommend to precondition the car for the sake of efficiency. It's actually for the longevity of the car. Driving while the battery is cold just isn't good for it in the long run. So with that in mind, if you have the range to spare, definitely use scheduled departure as much as possible. And it's so easy because in the app, it's based on location. So once you're at work, you just set the preconditioning for that location and it will do it there. Now keep in mind, you'll be sacrificing a bit of range, but it'll be worth it in the long run. And this advice also goes for most things Tesla recommends. It's usually to ensure the long life of the battery pack. Tesla has the best battery packs out there for a reason, because they know how to maintain them. All right, I hope that answered some questions for you. I know I was surprised. If you have a question you'd like answered, don't hesitate to leave a comment. Like this video, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. at its optimal temperature, which for the, it is, mm, ah, yeah. I then track to a, with the added efficiency you may get, worth the added efficiency you may get in heating the cabin, the car, the car, the car. It's just enough to get the cabin warm or 20, 20, I want the battery at its optimal temperature, which for the battery, uh, car. Driving the 